So the, the opportunity to, uh, to head this new journal was really a fantastic uh, fit, uh, fit between my own research uh, over the course of my career and the, the scope of the new journal. So our research is focused on biopolymer engineering uh, to generate new biomaterials and these materials are used in a variety of studies in, including just basic biomaterial structure function studies but also in areas of regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. So I think one of the exciting things about the field is how much it's grown and expanded in, in just recent years. The whole area of computational inputs into biomaterials design, I think the journal can provide uh, a venue for those kinds of publications. And then the whole area of technology um, sort of advancement, so whether it's 3D printing, uh, whether it's microfluidic related biomaterials work, this is again a growing exciting area for the field that we'd like to uh, provide a home to. Well I think th the advice for authors are, um, you know, high quality science is what we're looking for with, with uh, high quality science and engineering as part of our uh, focus for the journal. We are looking for the journal to have a wide appeal and this would include uh, students at their early stages of career looking for articles that really show the advancements in the field of biomaterials to professionals who perhaps have been working in the field for many years and looking for where new directions are emerging and see opportunities to build on that. And I think if you're not sure about the scope or in terms of uh, whether your work fits well, contact one of the associate editors or, or myself and we can uh, give you a quick uh, bit of feedback on whether it's a fit. But we're looking for high quality efforts in the field of biomaterial science and engineering that will really help catalyze and grow the field uh, even further than it's grown in the recent years. Well, you know, there's lots of advice. Uh, one bit of advice I've always had is, you know, if you're going to do something, do it to your fullest. And so I think that's uh, my commitment to the new journal, and I think it's important for any student as well. You know, if you're, if you're in a field, you, you really invest your effort fully in it. Um, and the other bit of advice is that, um, you know, everyone is different, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and, and the, the goal is to build on your strengths and learn from your weaknesses, which is why this field is so important. You can't be good at everything, and so you need to sort of recognize your strengths, build on them. At the same time, you need to recognize where you need partnerships to fill in your weaknesses or where you're not as well trained, and so you build synergy by combining forces and expertise to make the, the whole better than the sum of the parts.